What's going on, folks? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review something out of the ordinary here, kind of a little bit out of my catalog normally, and I'm going to review Baja Men's Who Let the Dogs Out album from the year 2000. Now, basically, this was a hit album, if only for the hit single Who Let the Dogs Out, which basically took the summer of 2000 by storm. It was just a popular song with the younger set and those type moments. Definitely, I look at it as like a summery song, kind of great for vacationing, going to Hawaii, going to the Bahamas, going someplace where it's hot below the equator, and, uh, you know, just kind of places in that sort of sense. I would definitely have to say I look at it just because the younger set kind of likes the song, where it's kind of something intended for, like, family friendliness and kind of if you're if you're dating women or something like if you're dating women or something like that who happen to have younger kids and that sort of thing it's a perfect option as far as that's kind of concerned for getting that sort of stuff going if you don't want to hear just like the kids bop and the now that's what i call music type jaunts and that sort of stuff just in a different angle because these guys are a little bit slicker i mean they're very their slickness factors in a very mild sense because it's so family and pg oriented but i still see them as enough of hits to where the, the fact that it's not something that you have to kind of almost roll your eyes out roll roll your eyes at or kind of be you know just kind of this, you know, just like typical, I mean, they're some of the colder kid-oriented stuff, I definitely would have to say. So it's just kind of, it's not wholesomely kid-oriented. There are some romantic songs in here, and they are intending upon hooking up and that type of stuff. But it just kind of is kept in like a pretty balmy, like 12-year-old birthday party type sense or 15-year-old birthday party. Just in terms of, it's like, there's no foul language and no stuff like that. You know raunchy topics but it just it does have flirtatious in mind it is a pretty nice summary bop so i would go ahead and say the first single is who let the dogs out basically what this the album is named after this has a really inescapable chorus you've probably heard it if you've heard it on television or in commercials or in like movie previews and that type of stuff it's just a pretty um universal song at this stage it definitely i think this the sheer popularity it just was very difficult to figure out how to top this song just because of course this good is kind of difficult to figure out how to replicate so i have to give baja men at least credit that they hit number one and had such a smash hit it just would have been very difficult to follow up in terms because it's just one of those songs kind of like miss new booty by bubba sparks or like lollipop by lil wayne or just like you know, Make It Rain by Fat Joe, where you get like this hit phrase that you just quote and you keep saying, where people are saying around this, who let the dogs out? It's very quotable, but when they don't get a follow-up single that's as quotable as that, it kind of ruins the chances of their marketing. I think that's just what they did. They just didn't know how to create another chant-ready song like, um, like, who let the dogs out <clears throat> but i definitely see it as like a nice summer pool swimming pool party type feel just definitely on the beat that type vibe just kind of cresting i would definitely recommend having some summery drink having some coconut rum some mojito something like that just something to kind of flesh it out and make it less because it, it does get a little bit silly and in, in like some of the the verses are good but they're very short and then the kind of dog noises in there kind of make it a little bit more lighthearted than what it might seem i mean it is a decent party song but it's just not something to be paid attention to like you're jamming out and nodding your head to lyrics and that type of stuff it's just not intended to really be taken seriously and really be like zoning into trying to pay attention to but it is the less that you kind of take take it seriously the better off a time you're going to have especially if you've got some drinks in your system and there's some attractive women to flirt with in the nearby neighborhoods so that's just kind of the thing you all that is the second single and this is one that i really don't see talked about at all these days you all that's the second single it's kind of one that doesn't get talked about enough i do think this is a pretty decent song it's a little bit lighthearted. also it's kind of cheesy just in like the chorus where it's kind of cartoony just from movies and that type of stuff but i would have to say that it does kind of come off as like a nice kind of mild i give this song credit it does have some sophistication towards it and kind of being it, it just does not have the energy of who let the dogs out but it is a nice follow-up to kind of say hey 
it's a little bit more just on the beach, kind of at a resort, kind of after you're done being out in the sun and playing volleyball and that type of stuff, just to kind of say this is kind of more of in the shade or kind of an evening kind of song where you're trying to go dance with the girl. They even, they even talk about this trying to strike up the nerve to uh, approach some chick in the song. And there's even a chick on the song at the end of the song who kind of shows you what it's about. But it's just kind of underneath the impression that I do like this. It, I do feel like this song has enough energy about it. I mean, it's just kind of off the side. Like I said, it's more of like an evening song and this kind of when you're about to dance and that type of stuff. This, I mean, it's kind of a nice summery dance bop. It's real mellow in the energy. I definitely like the energy in the verses. Kind of comes off as like just, uh, yeah, this kind of feels like more in the shade, kind of, you know, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night where there's getting ready to be a luau, something like that. Just some sort of evening dance, that type feel. This real mellow kind of energy compared to the first single. But I definitely feel like, Minus like the cheesiness of kind of the chorus, it, it kind of just feels like a Randy kind of song, like you're in the mood, you would play this in like a cartoony type movie. If you're in the mood, you would hear that kind of EE -E chant and like the chorus and think, oh, they must be horned up and that type of stuff. But it is kind of, it is a decent bop for what it is. I, I mean, I give it credit. I definitely think it should have charted higher than it did. I mean, Maybe, I, I do think the cheese in the song is a little bit strong, at least in the chorus, but the verses are great. I really feel like the intactfulness, this is kind of like a nice hotel room, hotel resort kind of summary, near beach water, near swimming pool water kind of bop, and just a light sense, just without, I mean, I, I can see it. I can definitely see this being a family friendly, just flirting with some chick with their kids, that type of stuff, just kind of going in and saying this, you know, just not turning up like, you know, the Yo Gotti and like the Gucci Mane and that type of stuff. Some of those where you're just needing something that's a little bit more family friendly for like the younger set. And this kind of works as that. But you just have to understand if you don't have like family friendliness in mind, it gets really cheesy. So that's just kind of the concept about it. But the rest of this album, I'm going to go ahead and list the songs out of 11 that I recommend. So those five songs out of 11 would be Who Let the Dogs Out, You All That. Get Your Party On, Shake It Mama, and Getting Hotter. So basically, in other words, the first four songs that you hear on this album are the most immediate in the energy. And they intended to do that. They made the second single the second song you hear just because they figured most people were going to buy this album for Who Let the Dogs Out. So they needed to have their second best song second. But the energy kind of tapers off as far as as long as you listen to this album in chronological order. It's definitely not like a shuffle type album. I do think Get Your Party On and Getting Hot. hot I do think Get Your Party On and Getting Hotter are some decent songs also. Get Your Party On really sounds like you're in a crowd of people at some concert or near the beach or something like that. This really does kind of feel like a mild party. Decent little song. I don't know how many... How, I mean, the thing about this album is I don't know the degree as to how much I'd be listening to some of these. It just would really depend upon the circumstance and definitely me being more in the mood for like summer and that type of stuff and just kind of going and enjoying like society and just kind of more hot events, hot concerts, volleyball, some of those type things and drinks on the beach, those sorts of situations. But it, it's just kind of, it loses some of its value if you don't have like the sense for how it goes. So it's just kind of, but it is a mildly decent party song is get your party on definitely reminds me of cisco and like the singing on get your party on getting hotter is another one that just feels like it's just made for the beach made for june july august that type stuff but definitely have to say i did like the energy of that one this really feels like i mean some of these songs are kind of like really smitten with whoever whichever woman's in mind of these guys i really feel like from the energy or is not quite as sold on the woman and who let the dogs out and kind of you all that. It kind of really switches the tempo to the point where it's like, yeah, you're really falling for these people and like getting hotter, summer of love, you're mine, what's up, or you, you know, just a number of these. I just kind of really feel like, the, yeah, there's just a number of these that kind of feel like you're really falling for the person and that type of stuff. And it just is kind of, the energy just kind of switches. You would like, I think most people probably would have liked more songs like Who Let I think more people would have liked more songs like Who Let the Dogs Out that just kinda of has the energy of this kind of a feisty, kind of this kind of in your face, kind of abrasive energy type feel where it's not like 
It's just the introductory song. It's kind of like the, it's just kind of the introductory song in terms of flirting, where it's just not quite all smitten and that type of stuff. And there just need to be more songs like that. I definitely think another song like "Who'd Let the Dogs Out" would have really worked extremely well, because this is kind of like almost like an R and B or like a reggae ton R and B type album in a lot of ways. And I definitely see it, but they just needed. I mean, R&B albums do this so many times where they'll have, like, the abrasive, trying to get the girl song, like, Usher's Yeah, or T-Pain's Buy You a Drink, and then the rest of the album will just turn into a bunch of ballads and just overtly lovey-dovey, kind of hammy and kind of cheesy type songs, and that's what this album kind of did. It just didn't have anything with the kind of bite and just abrasive kind of energy of Who Let the Dogs Out, and you all, that was a convincing kind of mid-tempo bop that at least conveyed the energy of this kind of set, slowing it down somewhat more, but there's not even a song on You All That's Pace either. It's just like, I definitely feel as if like a lot of songs on this album, like Where Did I Go Wrong is really out of place, and uh, you know, What's Up, Come On had a bad beat. I mean, this album just has a lot of bad beats on here. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that's just not noteworthy to list all of these. Like, you can get it. It's just trying to be like an up-tempo, kind of upright song telling you you can get things done and it's all in the mind is kind of like that or yeah it's all in the mind is kind of like that so there's just some moments on here that i feel like they just did not i mean considering that it was back in the year 2000 this is kind of before like super glossy production at least in r&b this is before like usher broke even and t-pain did and akon did Trey Song's dead, Jamie Foxx did, some of those people, but it just really feels lost in a lot of ways. I just kind of think that that's the concept about it is they at least managed to get one hit single and a pretty, you know, B plus level, A minus level follow up single that just was really underappreciated, but it's just too bad that like the rest of the project could not capture the energy of those two songs. And it just really feels like a lot of this on here is pretty much bunk. There are some songs, like I feel like Shake It Mama is a pretty nice dance bop that is surprisingly flirtatious, gives me a lot of Black Eyed Peas, gives me a lot of Black Eyed Peas vibes and just like a way milder sense of that. But apart from that, that's really the only other song. Shake It Mama is basically the only other song that gets anywhere close to Who Let who let the dogs out in terms of this dance ready energy there's not a lot of dance songs on here it just feels like there's just a lot of standing around just kind of being at the beach or soaking up the sun but there's just not a lot of festive let's drink let's dance that type moments so this is just not a very dance ready album i think that's just kind of the concept about it there are some moments at least in a mild sense but it just does not really have the navigation skills to truly make a party album that's kind of what i think labeled them one hit wonders now there are at least some other hits on here but you just have to understand that they're quite distant from the singles and i would listen to them in like a very mild sense but the vacation would have to be pretty good there'd have to be some drinks in my hand and there would definitely have to be some thicky women in the proximity to kind of take your mind off of paying attention that this music is just very much background and kind of white noise music in a lot of ways it's not wholesomely white noise but it's close enough i would just have to say I mean, it, it just does not quite have the distinction to really capture it, but it is summer music and it is for something. If you absolutely need something to kind of get like a summer party kind of going and you just need like some extra songs to kind of throw in there that are PG and family friendly enough to be able to have the hit potential as far as saying, I mean, I don't think that these are going to get like the shirts taken off and the screaming going, but at least like I feel like they are solid enough to kind of not drop the energy. So it's just kind of that concept. But I definitely feel like Who Let the Dogs Out can get the shirts taken off in that sort of sense. And you all, that kind of is a nice, you know, mid-tempo groove type song to get some romantic dancing. But it's just kind of the concept. So I'm going to give this album, me liking five songs out of 11. I'm going to go ahead and give this album a 4.25 out of 10. I feel like that's enough to be able to say that it's somewhat worthwhile. And like I said, the singles are definitely vouched enough to be able to talk about. Like they are, they do have energy. I definitely feel like Who Let the Dogs Out just has that really great chorus. That's an example of a song with just an excellent kind of chorus that people were just like, wow, where the hell did that come from? But this is kind of the concept, is just that 
these guys unfortunately not only could not follow up the single but couldn't even manage to make any other good songs for the most part like the first four songs you hear are the best moments and then shake it mama at the tail end is just an example of another hit that needed they needed way more songs like that but it just kind of has a lot of bunk on there a lot of extraneous moments a lot of questionable productions and just a lot of just bad hooks that you, you would think that they'd do a better job of getting hooks so 4.25 out of 10 the social score i'm going to give a five and a half out of 10 just because i do feel like in a mild sense if you have a pretty good summer playlist already and you're just looking for like a couple bops to throw in here from these guys i feel like you all that and who let the dogs out are just at least a couple ones that are kind of summer oriented that just kind of make you appreciate summer make you appreciate warm weather and make you want to go on a vacation or to a hotel resort or something so it definitely does that i give them credit for that but it's just that they really are severely lacking hits that's kind of the situation in terms of the future I don't know how much more of these guys I would ever review because they never got any other hit singles. The last time they charted was barely with You All That. So I just kind of feel like other than that, they really didn't have any notable hits ever again. Maybe one single off their 2002 album. But other than that, it was just kind of, they got like one final shot in the album after this and that basically took care of it. So I don't know. But there's just, there's a nice little summer bop in here. Like I said, the, the extent to these two singles are solid enough depending upon how PG you're feeling at the time and the women that are making you feel PG at the time. That just kind of happens to be the concept. It's just something to pay attention to and kind of say, just, I would invest in it, but just have forecaution.